They are downright deadly. Albuquerque's network of arroyos and diversion channels can turn into raging rivers in a matter of seconds during the monsoon season. But that didn't keep some 200 people from partying in one recently. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live near Manal and Carlisle. Amanda? Well, Dick, on a night much like tonight, the group came here, climbing down the sides of the North Diversion Channel here behind me. Firefighters say it's pretty lucky they all climbed back out. It was promoted as a night of underground arts, an event that brought together break dancers, singers, and even poets. Just one problem. The event did too good of a job living up to its name. Arroyo Stomp 2012 took place here a few weeks ago. The North Diversion Channel collects all the water for the Northeast Heights. Uh, there are a number of arroyos that drain into it. The Metro Flood Control Authority and firefighters say that makes this channel especially dangerous because it can be dry here, but within minutes, that can change. Anyone in the channel may not be able to see that there is rain and uh, be caught off guard. That's exactly what happened over the weekend. AFD says this man was walking in the Embudo Arroyo when he was swept downstream by a wall of water before he was able to pull himself out at the North Diversion Channel. It's very dangerous, not only for the victim um, themselves, but for firefighters. They're putting their lives on, on the line to, to rescue these people. At its peak, an estimated 200 people were down here for the Arroyo stop. And from this video put together after the event, it doesn't appear any of them were worried about rain in the middle of monsoon season. I've seen a lot of stuff come down this channel from trucks to people and 200 people in one location is uh, very scary. A scary scenario for firefighters too because even with all their training and manpower, the odds of an Arroyo rescue in this situation are not good. We are ready at any time, uh, but that amount of people would, would definitely make it challenging for our uh, guys to actually get every one of them out. Now, luckily for partygoers, it did not rain that night, but there was another disturbance. Eventually, police showed up and everyone scattered out of here. Dick? All right, Amanda, the Flood Control Authority says it does what it can to keep people out of the arroyos, primarily by putting up as many fences as it can.